water. See if she jumps. Papillon. Tenors field, 2,000 meters in front of them. They're set and they racing. Panacotta was probably slower length today. Let's look where the speed is going to come from. Yellow Silk Serve, you deserve it. Q for you's on the outside. Richard Verree is looking towards the inside. He wants to get onto the rail. He wants to become one with the rail, and he does so. Q for you won the battle for the lead. Emerald Isle is moving around to join. You deserve it. Second and third. The grey is winter time. Towards the inside, Kulapachi spots them three length start. Panna Cotta, hard against the steel, only five lengths off them, setting no speed records here. Papali on the outside is Yestia. Then we have Parkdale, Catalyst, that is your trailer, nine lengths off the leader. Head into the chest, Q for you, dictating her own terms. Q for you, the visuals tell it all, comfortably in front by a length. You deserve it's racing away second, Emerald Isle is on the outside. So they shuffled the deck and Q for you came out on top. Rider has a look through the breaches. You deserve it, the riders also had a look to see who's around him. And that's Emerald Isla, Kulapachi, Wintertime the Grey past the eight peg. They're going to start to step on the gas and Q for you, given a bit more rain. Then we drop back to Panacotta now. And Panacotta's got her six to make up. Just gets a scrub or two. Doesn't want to be caught flat-footed. Papa Leon's further back in the running. At this point in time is Yestia, Parkdale and Catalyst. They all got it to do. Homeward bound, 400 metres to go. Cue for you, but you deserve it. Moves in with long strides at the 300. You deserve it. Strikes the front with devastating style coming to the two. You deserve it goes on. Emerald Isla, Izzy Esther running on, but you deserve it's in strike mode from winter time. You deserve it, one comfortably. Winter time second, Papali on third, Emerald Isla ran fourth. Who says they don't need who says they need shoes to run? They don't need shoes to run. Barefoot. You deserve it. Raced barefoot, this filly. And she's shown them a clean pair of hooves and heels because she's won very well. Tanasha is not here, so Clinton's got the thousand rand. Let's get the photograph, uh, Clinton, for Tanasha. And uh, on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle, well done. Let's get Richard in. He's written, you deserve it, who's certainly deserved this win. Well done to you, Richard. Congratulations. And it's been, uh, as I said in the preview, a quiet day by your high standards, but you're banging <laughs> the winner's enclosure. Not a meeting doesn't go by in quasi until when you win. Well done. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah, to try and you know, give our best, and sometimes we're a little bit unlucky. Um, today, Mr. Bosch is also uh, just got squeezed onto the outer rail, didn't go my way. Uh, but yeah, managed to bounce back on this one. Uh, so very well done to, to the trainer and to the, to the whole team. They, they deserve all the success they get. Tell us about the race, because uh, she's won with authority, she's won well. What field did she give you? This is the first time you're riding her. Yes, uh, our initial plan was uh, just to make sure she's got cover with... Uh, with a, if, if the pace is slow and because she, she runs in a citation bit and um, we don't want her to, to over race too much and uh, you know from that draw uh, lucky for me I had the, the speed drawn on my outside so I could just tack along uh, follow, follow the other horse across and then add a nice sitting behind him and you know we weren't, we weren't going fast we were going quite a steady fraction and uh, lucky for me they picked it up through the 900 and you know we were back in the game because uh, my initial thought was if we're going to cant into the strat, I might have to join him a bit early. So going through the 900 or so, I was already looking to to see if I should be pulling one off, but uh, it wasn't necessary. They picked it up and came into the straight, and top of the straight I was really a winner. You know, so she had good momentum coming into the straight, and I think that's what made all the difference today. Well, well done to you. You've made the whole team very happy and uh, she certainly won a good race and well done to, as you say, the team and to yourself because you've done duty from the saddle. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you to Mr. Binder and to Hollywood Bets. Congrats. Let's talk to Mr. Binder who's uh, holding on to Tanasha's cash and uh, well done to you, Clinton. One runner on the day and she's won well, this filly. She really has and she had the form to do just that. Yeah, she has. Uh, um, you know, her form was good. It's just her last start, she didn't pull up sound. And um, that's the reason why we brought her down over here, because we didn't want to run her on the hard again. Um, you know, she's been gaming all the last four starts, or this being the fourth start winning it. Um, and I, d I just didn't want to hurt her on the, on the going. I, you know, I think um, she may have one or two more in her. 
Certainly, she's one with authority, although it was a lowly rated handicap. There were some hard knockers here that had some form, and she's really won well, which is encouraging for the future. Yeah, well, thank you, and thank you very much to Hollywood. It's been a long time without a winner. Um, unfortunately, all our horses that we had down here are going home tonight, um, and we'll just raid in the future. Well, we look forward to seeing you in Hollywood land. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you to Hollywood for their support, Anthony, my whole team at home. It's been a dry spell. Let's hope we can pick it up from here. Well Thanks done. Thanks to them. Spot Bye. on. Lovely to have Devon here as well. Well done to you, Devon. And welcome. Let's get Anthony in, who represents the Hollywood Syndicate. Lovely win. Clinton says it's been quiet. We all know as owners, punters, and all that goes with it. We all go through quiet uh, patches, but... Let's focus on the, the good times, and uh, a good time is what you're having right now with this winner. Yeah, it has been very quiet. I was almost suicidal. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, you know, when, you, when you're having good runs, you, sometimes you take it for granted, and, yeah, you should appreciate the winners. And, yeah, it's, it's very nice uh, to have a winner again. This season, our very first one, and very well done to Clint and Sue. And uh, to the Hollywood Syndicate, very well done. She doesn't run with shoes. I mean, we could debate it uh, for hours and everybody has their different of opinions. But uh, shoes or no shoes, she's, she's won well. I've had that debate with Clint for hours and hours too. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to win that debate neither. Eh? Okay. But, uh, yeah, very well done to Richard. You know, um, sometimes when you've got a, a, a jock like that, it makes a little bit of a difference. I mean, he rode such a great race from that draw. He put her into such a good position and pulled the trigger at the right time. And, yeah, thank you very much to him. Before you run away, are you off to Gauteng? It's the sales week. Are you going up to have a look and see? Yeah, I'm off on Thursday morning. Yeah, we're off to, to go and have a look. We look forward to seeing you there. Well done, Anthony. Uh, thank you very much. Lovely. Spot on. Anthony Del Pesce, who does a sterling job for the Hollywood Syndicate. Well, we're all going, most of us are going up to Gauteng to see if we can find our next champion. And uh, that is up at the Bloodstock Sales and Germiston on Friday and Saturday of this week. So Clinton Binder, your trainer here, Ridgemont Highlands, your breeders, Anthony Del Pesce, Richard Ferry, they're all thrilled. You deserve it, has deserved this victory.